Pierre Poilievre's critique of the carbon tax echoes broader concerns about government overreach, economic strain, and the tangible impact of taxes on everyday citizens. People feel this directly, especially when it touches on their cost of living and financial well-being. Children are hungrier than ever after nine years of the NDP Liberals. In fact, 25% of them are not getting enough food, and we now know why. A carbon tax fraud has been perpetrated by this NDP Liberal Prime Minister who kept secret Environment Canada documents that showed that the carbon tax was blowing a $25 billion hole in our economy. Our economy per capita is smaller today than it was 10 years ago, during which time the American economy has grown by 19%. Instead of a reckless plan to hike the tax to 61 cents a litre, why not allow Canadians to vote? Tax the tax. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What doesn't cost money is putting money in eight out of ten of the money of, the, of Canadians' pockets with the Canada carbon rebate to support their families and fight climate change. Poilievre argues that after nine years under Liberal leadership, the carbon tax has exacerbated hunger among children and labels it a fraud. He further accuses the government of lacking transparency, pointing to a supposed secret document from Canada's Ministry of Environment. He claims this tax has not only contributed to a $25 billion economic deficit but also hampered growth, with Canada's per capita economy shrinking over the past decade, in contrast to the U.S., which has seen a 19% increase. The assertion that the carbon tax is both inefficient and harmful to families resonates with many, fueling the call for citizens to have a say in key policy decisions. This aligns with a conservative emphasis on democratic involvement. The sentiment that liberal values are not Canadian values reflects a portion of the public's belief that current government policies stray from Canada's traditional principles. 